All right, so here is a little, um, again, a little impromptu devilog just to show off uh, what we were able to get accomplished last week. Uh, so a couple of people in my Discord and I were talking about the idea of adding new ar uh, ammo types to Project Silverfish. And so we redid our ammo system and now Look at that. Let's load in some slugs. So you see it's hitting uh, one shot, whereas if we then load in our normal buckshot, then we can load in something like frag 12. Notice how the shells um, are actually modeled off of the actual ammo type. So yeah. Oh, we also have Dragon's Breath, which is pretty cool. It's very low range and doesn't do much damage, but it does set things on fire. Ooh, I need to work on those sound effects. They need to have like um, a pitch offset so that they don't do that. But yeah, um, what's also really cool is this forced us to change. So yeah, you can see there's a bunch of different ammo types currently so far. Ooh, the different grenade ammo types are cool. There's gonna be like um, illumination flares and gas grenades and stuff. But, but what this forced us to do was we had to redo the weapon enchantment system, which I don't actually think I've explained enchanted weapons yet, but let's find one. Let's see, where is... There it is. So here we have an enchanted shotgun. So what this enchanted shotgun will do, so let's just get some normal shotgun rounds. So normal fire, it's just going to fire a shotgun. However, if you enchant it with ether, so we have a thousand, and turn that on, it enchants the rounds so that they, you know, explode into acid pools on hit. Now, what's really cool about this is you notice how, you know, I shoot a 12 gauge, like, uh, like some buckshot, and you see like nine acid pools for the nine different hits. However, if I load in slugs, we get one big acid pool, and yes, this does somewhat significant damage. However, what's really cool you load it with frag 12, it explodes into a really big acid pool. And if you load it with something like Dragon's Breath, it creates swaths of acid. So what we did was we made all of the different like projectile effects, like, you know, incendiary, acid pool, you know, electric payload, explosions, all that. We made those all component-based. What that means is we can just have a normal base projectile type, like your normal 9mm, you know, parabellum round. But we can then sort of, like, sort of dynamically apply a component to it. So we can give, you know, you know, a shotgun pellet, you know, the acid component. We can give a, you know, shotgun round, the explosive component. And that's what enchantment, enchanted weapons do, is they add the additional, um, you know, sort of effect to the already existing ammo type. And so that's why you can sort of combine the different, um, like, ammo effects which I think is really cool. 
Um, right now, all we have are the sort of normal ammo types, like the... Not mundane, but like the, you know, the non-magic kind. I'm still, you know, playing around with the idea of enchanted ammo. So, like, theoretically, you could put enchanted um, ammo into an enchanted gun and then have stacking enchanted effects, which would be really cool. Um, but, you know, this is still, still all very much work in progress, but... It's definitely looking really cool so far, at least as far as I'm concerned. And yes, we also have the uh, different rocket types. So, for instance, uh, here, load in thermobaric. Ooh, I am very overweight. Holding 20 rockets is a lot. But yeah, so here, uh, Thermobaric. Explodes into, like, big fireball. I'm in the editor. The first time it loads up some assets, it has, like, a little bit of trouble. Then we could also have something like Cluster Rocket. Which, when you fire it at a target, will air burst. And explode into a big cluster of, like, munitions. Yeah. And so yeah, that's just a little uh a little devlog, you know, a little update. I just wanted to show off like what we were doing. Um there's still plenty more I actually want to show. Um uh, like artifacts and like the different interesting like um armor effects that you can have, but um you know, it's one thing at a time. All right, I will show one more thing. So one of our 30 out 6 ammo types is tandem rounds. What's really cool about that? Oops. So if you just have normal FMJ, and you use this enchanted weapon. That does, you know, a sort of a vortex, you know, on hit. If you load it with tandem, so what tandem rounds are is it's like three bullets in a single uh, casing. It's a real thing that was developed in the Cold War. It was kind of silly. Um, but we can even have three projectiles all doing their effects at once. So they kind of overlap here, but you see you get like the three different uh, hits there. Hold on, a better weapon to see this one can be. So here, this rifle does a random effect every time it hits. And so when you load the tandem rounds, it does three random effects at once. And so yeah, that's the sort of uh, thing, you know, we're able to accomplish with this new system. And I think it has a lot more potential. Like, this is just a small, like, little sampling of some of the stuff we were able to do with it so far. Uh, so yeah, very excited for what uh, we are able to make next with this sort of thing. Um, I can't wait to show you all the other, like, really cool stuff that we've been working on. But for now, that's all I have to uh, show you, so um, talk to you later.